I did want to address this concern very quickly. So in my last video, I had a few different people posting saying that they were trying to get the generic Viagra at their pharmacy, right? They went to the local pharmacy and they did get the generic, but that it was very expensive. So before you go to a pharmacy, you must watch this video. Otherwise, someone's going to give you inaccurate information or they're going to rip you off, right? As a pharmacy is going to make a lot of profit off of these generics, especially when they're first released. So what you need to know, now without having to re-explain the whole video, again, if you want, if you haven't seen the whole video, go and watch it, okay? I'm not going to re-explain that whole thing, but what you need to make sure is that you are ordering the right strength. The 20 milligram tablet is the one that is inexpensive currently. Now, as you probably know, there is officially a Viagra generic that was released. The problem is that they're all going to be very expensive and that's what you're running into. So if you go to the pharmacy and you get your 25, 50, or 100 milligram strength tablet, it's going to be at least a $23, $25 a pill, right? Whereas with the 20 milligram strength, you can buy an entire 90 count bottle for 30 or so dollars. So literally for the price of two pills of the 25, 50, or 100, you could buy an entire bottle of the 20 milligram strength. And the reason that is, is because although Gen the Viagra is generic now, there is a six month exclusivity period for newly released generics. So it just went generic earlier this year. So there is only one generic manufacturer. And while it is less than the $60 a pill they're charging for the brand now, it's still $20 a pill. So it's not gonna be cheap, right? And even after the six months expires, that just allows other people to come into the market. It doesn't necessarily mean after six months, it's gonna be cheap. Right? Another manufacturer has to come in and they might undercut those guys by a little bit. It might be $10 a pill, which is still, it's still not worth you getting the 25, 50, or 100 milligram tablet. Right? So what you're going to probably want to do is wait until, at very least, until the first six months are up. So you're going to want to wait until like August or September to even start looking at the 25, 50, or 100 milligram strength tablet. Right? Ideally, you probably want to wait until 2019 or somewhere around there. After there are probably about four to five makers, you're going to see that 25, 50, and 100 milligram price drop down to where it's the same as the 20 milligram, and then at that point, then you're fine. You don't need to worry about it at all. But until then, just realize, even though Viagra officially does have a generic now, at the time I made that video, there was no Viagra generic. It hadn't been released yet. There's only the Sildenafil 20 milligrams. And what you need to know is that there is no difference in how the 20 milligram strength works compared to the, to the Viagra strengths, 25, 50, or 100 milligrams. So to give a brief explanation again, remember, the 20 milligram strength is the generic for Rivadio, which is what Viagra was originally used for pulmonary hypertension. Now, the only difference between Viagra and Rivadio, literally down to the inactive ingredient, is that Viagra has an extra ingredient to make it the color blue. That's it, there, there is no difference in how they work. They're exactly the same down to the inactive ingredient, okay? So you need to make sure that you have a prescription. If you want that price, you need to make sure that you have a prescription written for the 20 milligram strength. And make sure that someone doesn't try to tell you, oh, well, there's a generic now. Yeah, there is, but it's $23 a pill. So it's not really much of a discount. So I hope that answers any issues that people are having and again, even if you go, even if a far, like even if you ask for the 20 milligram strength, some pharmacies are still going to try to rip you off. Like you go to like a Walgreens or a CVS, a lot of the bigger places, they're still going to have very expensive prices. It's going to be eighty dollars, hundred dollars. So you know, make sure that you call ahead, ask what their cash price is, or use a a website that can track down what the prices are ahead of time. Like GoodRx is one place. Uh, there's another website that I'll leave you a link below. You can search by your zip code. It'll tell you what everyone's charging for their cash prices, and you can just go there and get it. Okay? So I hope this answers your question. If you have any other questions, just let me know. I'll do my best to answer it. I am back now. So I, and again, for the first couple weeks, I might be a little bit busy, but I'm definitely going to try to at least devote one day a week to get into people's questions. So I hope you're doing well and I'll see you around.